Today, I will be telling you about the one thing that haunted me, the penis monkey. At the time when it started, it was at least 4pm, getting very late. I was working as a prostate surgeon and while working on a man with a hex bug stuck three inches in his ass which was fully charged, my malicious colleague turns to me with a smile. Have you heard of the legend in these ends? No. W what is it? I had more fear in my voice than a Chinaman seeing a bat in a restaurant. Well, the legend goes by the name of the penis monkey. He says, apparently if you stand naked in front of a mirror and say penis monkey calls his simia three times, something weird will happen to you. I laughed him off. I went to the toilet to wash my hands from all the semen and anal warts I gathered. Now was a good time to expand my collection. An idea came to me. I thought let's try this myth to prove it's all a hoax. So there I go, take off my shirt, belt, socks, g-strap, trousers and beanie. I started to charm it with an overwhelming feeling. Penis monkey. I said it three times. Whoa. It felt good after knowing I proved it all to be a hoax. What is this? I gasped. This feels better than I expected. My Jap's eye was awoken. I paused as I looked down and thought, at who held my schlong? An old man Gladys? I pushed him away. This was just another random Indian man off the internet and not the penis monkey. <clears throat> so I walked outside half dressed. Two kids in all black approached me and said, Empty out your pockets or I fold your ass like clean laundry, all holding a G.I. Joe plastic action knife. So I did what I was gonna do. I uppercut them both and jumped into my fresh whip. Oh, this was a trusty one, the Tuk Tuk 900. This is a type of car which rocks my boat. What a beauty. Fast forward from then, and we're about 10 miles from my house. Oddly, the only thing my radio plays is Devo and Smithy Boy, maybe the occasional Tupac. So I turn it off. I adjust my rearview mirror and jump in fear, almost crashing. What was that? I saw the reflection of what it can only be described as a monkey with my eyes. Tiny, the marble eyes. Oh, but what the size made up somewhere else, his mighty schlong, at least seven feet. I carried on driving. Yes, it did make up, looked like a baseball bat. I almost calmed down as I heard, Hello, governor. I groped myself in fierce and I began to drive recklessly. I was steering worse than the Malaysia Flight 17. I drove as fast as I could, but then I saw it again. My face turned red with fear and I fell out of breath. Still eight miles away from my house, I was... I reached out for my phone. What is it? I said. What's the number from 999 again? I exclaimed. I can't remember. Oh yes, I remembered at a moment. It was 0018999881999119725. Free. This this was my lucky moment. I was about to press it. I was about to call it. I was so happy at this moment, but something grabbed my scroat. I drop my phone out of fear and a little excited. I hear his voice. This is a great chance to find you. I move all the smashed up glass pieces out of my way, more pieces of glass than Cardi B's body count. I, I looked outside the window and see him standing with his peen in his grasp. I walk out to make my st final stand, this felt like a boss battle, I convinced myself I was going to kill him. I look in my trouser pocket, luckily he's still there. Yes, I exclaimed, my 9.3x64mm 7N33 cartridge rotating bolt 10 round detachable box magazine pistol group 2758 meters per second 250 grain SV. DK Dragon of standard issue sniper rifle with a 10 decibel minus sing silencer UTG recon flex hemlock R4 metal bipod and 8 times 2 zoom trajectory ACOG used for both eye openness. I always keep this in my pocket just in case. I go to aim but he disappears. I hear some lost demon soul shout, as tempting as it is, don't suck it or you end up like me. Don't do it. That's those are the last words I heard from that. I feel something climb up to my leg. My radio starts to whisk, play careless whisper as I feel loads of fluids rush into my body. I scream, moan, then pitch black. I feel dizzy and faint, doing nothing to stop it. <coughs> I feel like I've just been out of breath for the past hour. I clear my breath. Next thing I knew is I wake up in some sort of hospital. I look at my hand and see a fluffy handcuff. What the fuck? 
I whisper, I see a sign saying circumcision room. I look down and see my penis wrapped in tin foil. Owen walks in. Hey, what's going on here? I ask her. Well, you and your dad came in and your dad signed up to get you circumcised, right? She says. What? No, my dad left me. What is my dad's name written down as? I reply with. One second, she says. It says penis monkey. Odd. I don't think that would be your dad's name. What? what, what? Please get me your manager. Next thing I know, she walks out, rushing. I take some pills and turn into what would be Pac-Man and Brittany Spears' baby boy because I start chugging them down like sweets. Huh? I say with a tremble. I feel something hug me. Hello, governor, comes out of the loudspeaker. I see his face, the, 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 the penis monkey, that crazy look on his face. I didn't know what to do at the time. He then seduces me and I begin to faint while nutting. The last words I hear. Don't worry, you're safe with Big Daddy Penis Monkey.